Hi there, this is Andrew Brody with Yokogawa, and today I'd like to take you on a quick walkthrough of our Liquids Pipeline demonstration application. We're featuring the fictitious Alberta South Pipeline SCADA host that has been implemented with our Fast Tools SCADA package with specific liquid handling applications. We're looking at an overview screen here that's showing basic statistics on the pipeline's operation. It's featuring tank farms at either end starting in Edmonton and moving on down to Williston in North Dakota. Moving to our display overview screen we can get into a lot more detail. These are all hot clickable points where we can get into the operation of the pipeline. Tank farms, booster pumps, metering stations, pig launching and receiving pump stations, block valve stations. Here's the Beaumont tank farm with various valves that we can operate. Various tanks. We can go to our booster pump display where we can once again turn on various valves, start and stop various pumps. Metering display here where we can see various statistics like temperature, flow rate, density, pressure. We can even see proving information here. We could go and execute a proving run if we wanted to. Pig launcher, we could go ahead and launch a pig, although one's already been launched, so I can't do that at this exact moment. Another pump station. A pig receiving station. Down to the tank farm at the end as well as a unloading onto a truck. We can take a look at our current alarms. We can acknowledge alarms, historical alarms. We can reorder columns if we want. We can do filters on the alarms. We can do batch scheduling. We can add batches, edit batches. Import batches, export batches. We can do batch tracking. So it's a real-time graphical display on where the items are, their head positions, their tail positions. companies, destinations, and the colors represent each type of uh, liquid here. So this is two batches but same liquid once again. Same liquid, multiple batches, and then color coded for the type of liquid that we're actually moving. From our meter stations, here's a meter summary. I can actually click on a specific meter to get detail. I can also take a look at its scheduling ticket overview. I could go ahead and open up a ticket, print it. We can go to our tank summary screen. I can click on a specific tank. See what the volumes have done with it. Pull up a strapping table. I can edit it if necessary. Here's our provers. I can click on a specific prover could go ahead look at the past report or I could start and go ahead and do a new prover run.
pump summary, if any pumps have been inhibited. You can go ahead and get details on that. Do pump control on it if I need to. Restrictions. Inhibits. Performance. So we can see this one hasn't been inhibited. We can kind of see where it is on its performance curve. Our maximum allowed operating pressure. We can see where we are with our current pressure, head pressure, little map of altitude along the way here. Lake detection, once again, this is a kind of summary screen. I can take a look at pressure wave method. Go ahead and simulate a leak. A volume balance method. go ahead and do RTU monitoring. In this case, of course, we don't have any RTUs attached since it's a demo application. So that's the quick run through on the Alberta South Pipeline demo application as realized through our Fast Tools SCADA application, complete with some of the things that you'd expect for a liquid pipeline application. This is Andrew Brody with Yokogawa. Have a great day.